So just one more follow-up for you, Tony, a question that just came in uh, from one of the attendees that's relative to this discussion. The question is, you know, is there criteria to determine the level of DE&I maturity that an organization has? So kind of how do you know where you are along that, you know, continuum that you laid out? Yeah, um, so there is a general, how many use the word framework that organizations try to look at in terms of categories. And uh, you might've heard this to whoever the person who raised that question. And there's three categories, but I'm gonna now mention a fourth category that's becoming much more popular. So there's the, the workforce, right? And, that, and that's an analysis of our workforce. And this begins to think about everything from retention to representation at various levels of the organization. There, and there are a lot of data points in between. Then there is the workplace, that would be the second category, where we start to talk about what the culture of the environment looks like. Uh, we you know, start to think about uh, how the culture or how the environment is actually um, creating a place where all individuals can be successful, including individuals who identify from some of these underrepresented groups or diverse backgrounds. And then there's the marketplace, which is the harder one to measure. And this one really talks about what is it that we do to leverage the diversity and equity and inclusion that we've created in our organization? And how does that help us be successful uh, when we go to market, whether it's a product or a service that we provide to our end user? Now, the, the latest thing that we're really starting to see and understand is that there's probably a new category that's coming up that will create new levels of metrics for us. And this is this notion about uh, what we consider to be what's our social impact. Uh, we see social impact in terms of CSR ratings when, you know, if a company makes a product that they look at waste or use or those kind of things. We're also starting to see social impact now in terms of diversity and inclusion. And some examples of, of what that could mean is, you know, what's our engagement, volunteer engagement in diverse communities? Maybe there's contributions to diverse communities or social organizations. Um, and you're starting to see our organizations create scholarships for underrepresented groups or create programming for underrepresented groups. And what they're trying to do at that point in time is demonstrate that their social impact to the community is, uh, uh, is one that is pointing to them as being a good corporate citizen or one that is living the values of diversity and inclusion versus just talking about it. 